Well, it is pay-per-view time. And the production team have made it so that the singing is off sync. So now, in comes Sami Zayn, and you know what? This 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 has a big fight feel to it, even though it's not for a title. You know, opening match of Money in the Bank, Sami Zayn, Tyler Breeze. Now, if you're watching the premiere, there is still a chance for you guys to leave your predictions in uh, in the chat. And uh, you know, if if uh, you leave a correct prediction, good on you. If you leave a wrong prediction, eh, it, it it's fine. But anyway, in comes Tyler Breeze. And now Tyler Breeze sporting the old glitter. We saw him wear literally a glittery shirt. Um, I believe it was a couple weeks back. Actually, it was last week. And you know... Um, Tyler Breeze, he is, he is a man who, I would say, needs this big win. But then again, so does Sami Zayn. So this is what makes this match probably one of the biggest matches, in a way, on Money in the Bank. Because it's, it's two guys with nothing to lose, but all to gain from picking up a victory here tonight. And you know, at the end of this part, we will have the women's Money in the Bank match. So if you're only here for the Money in the Bank matches, uh, may I persuade you to stay here for longer and watch the rest of the show unfold? I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I can persuade you. But anyway, let's go. Tyler Breeze, Sami Zayn, and oh, okay, okay, they're already doing some chain wrestling. Got that waist lock in. And Sami Zayn with a takedown early on. Oh, but Tyler Breeze looking to try and fight his way out. Got a waist lock of his own now. And all oh, the shot to the back. Brings it back in. And oh, another shot to the back. Tyler Breeze being quite smart. But Sami Zayn able to out wrestle. Oh, with the snapmare into the chin lock from Tyler Breeze. Oh, and there's the knee. We're already seeing what these two can truly do. Okay, strikes coming in from Tyler Breeze. Sami Zayn able to stop it. Oh, went for the slam. But now caught inverted DDT from Tyler Breeze. It's now all off the ropes. Oh, Sami Zayn stops it. And Breeze with the forearm. Oh, roll up. Oh, but Sami Zayn in the ropes. Shots coming in, but Sami Zayn bringing the fight, and now, oh, okay, I thought he was going to go for a roll up there, but he chooses not to, might be smart actually, might be smart, doesn't want to, uh, doesn't want to give Breeze the opportunity to potentially get a roll up, oh, nice insecurity from Tyler Breeze, and now, into the corner, oh, big knee to the gut, this is the opening match of Money in the Bank and the nice elbow dropping on the head of Sami Zayn. Oh, nice chop. Oh, bring the strikes. Oh, Sami Zayn caught with the knee. Oh, and now a knee to the back. Tyler Breeze bringing the fight, but Sami Zayn trying to bring the fight himself. And a fisherman driver, I believe. Oh, the breeze on the outside, and now we're bringing the fight to the outside. That super kick, the beauty shot from Tyler Breeze, but Sami Zayn now bringing it back into the ring. Breeze took too long. That's now all. Oh, oh, but he's caught by Tyler Breeze, who hits it. I don't know what he calls that. I believe he told me to call it the cutoff, which. I don't know, just sounds good, I guess. Oh, but now Tyler Breeze locking in a submission on Sami Zayn. 
trying to wear down the underdog. But although, oh, I thought it was going to go for a roll up there. Tyler Breeze, oh, the wrong time, my guy. Snake eyes from Sami Zayn. It's now old Breeze bringing the fight off the ropes and all oh, the atomic drop. He's on the ropes and oh, he gets thrown to the outside. Sami Zayn getting the roar of the crowd here tonight. Oh, the Breeze, Breeze faking the crowd out. Tyler Breeze faked the crowd out, and now he's going to the outside. Oh, the Russian leg sweep. Into the barricade. Oh, Breeze just slamming Sami Zayn's head into the barricade. Oh, wait. Wait, heavy machinery? Otis and, and, and Take? What, what are they doing out here? And more importantly, why are they distracting Tyler Breeze? Oh, into the corner. Sami Zayn going to use this opportunity to try and get something going here. The crowd know what's coming. Sami Zayn, Torpedo, DDT on the outside. The fans are starting to appreciate the fact that Sami Zayn is coming back to his roots, but oh, into the steps. Breeze looked like he barely took any of that. Now he's just showboating. The referee is counting. Sami Zayn just looks out. Oh, oh, he's getting back up to his feet. Sami Zayn back in the ring. Oh, caught with a kick. It's Tyler Breeze. Tyler Breeze, what's he looking for? Elevated cutoff! My god! One, two, Sami Zayn kicks out. That is the heart of an underdog there for you guys. As now Tyler Breeze thinking neck breaker. Now it goes in. Oh, but Sami Zayn, cheeky roll up. Two, Sami Zayn gets it done. Sami Zayn picks up the first win of Money in the Bank. Outperforming and outsmarting Tyler Breeze with a roll up. Sami Zayn gets it done, and that is a big win for him. No, I don't blame him. He's listening to the crowd. The crowd seemed to be mixed for him. But anyway, earlier today, Daniel Bryan made his way to the arena. But now it is time for some two out of three fools action. Bobby Roode versus Kalisto. Bobby Roode is a man who, uh... You know, wasn't too happy when Kalisto beat him. I believe it was a couple weeks ago on Raw. And uh, since then, you know, Bobby Roode, he uh, talked to Nigel Stevens and he said he wanted a two out of three falls match with Kalisto. It's almost sort of like their rubber match in a way. And surely the winner of this will get propelled to, you know, the United States Championship picture, you know? Like, I'm sure they won't hesitate to make the best of an opportunity if they get the job here done, like, job here tonight done. comes his opponent with Pinata in hand. It is Kalisto. And you know what? We haven't seen the Lucha House Party since their match with the Kings of Wrestling. Speaking of the Kings of Wrestling, they do indeed 
have a match later on tonight. Well, actually, on this part. But anyway, Kalisto. Looking. Can, can you imagine if Kalisto wins the two out of three falls match here tonight? He shocked the world by hitting one Salida Del Sol and taking out Bobby Roode on Raw. And then, ever since then, all Bobby Roode's wanted to do is fight him in a two out of three falls match, which, you know what? I, I respect him for that. I, I respect him. And now all... Oh, one out of the gate, the spear! One! Oh my god, but a kick out of one from Kalisto. Into the corner and oh, the, oh went for the clothesline, but Kalisto saw it coming. Now into the into the corner goes Bobby Roode. And now oh, oh okay, these two are going counter for counter here. Oh, pushed away by Kalisto. And now Kalisto bringing the strikes for the kick to the gut from Roode. And now Bobby Roode thinking butterfly suplex. Oh, but Kalisto gets his shoulder up and not even one. Oh, went for the clothesline, but Kalisto stops it again. Teardrop suplex coming in from Kalisto. Warn, not even a one count. Something tells me this might be a long match. All oh, the strike coming in from Bobby Roode. There's the chop, but the chop from Kalisto. Pushed away by Roode. Oh, and there's a clothesline. Roode with the spear again. One. Oh, but a kick out of one. God damn. Bobby Roode firing himself up. Off the rope. Oh, there's a nice neck breaker off the ropes there. Middle rope. Bobby Roode. What's he looking for? Oh, the blockbuster. And now oh, strikes coming in. Bobby Roode, what's he looking to do here? Oh, off the ropes with the suplex. Springboard suplex, essentially. Oh, spine buster. One, two. Oh, but Kalisto kicks out of the spine buster. Also, apologies, my commentary is quite bad um, today. Oh, Bobby Roode center at the ring with the Roode bomb. One, two, but a kick out from Kalisto. But as I was saying, apologies, my commentary is quite bad. Um, I'm having to record this quite late at night. Um, college work uh, got a little bit uh, hectic. Oh, and Roode showboating and Kalisto, Kalisto kick. The chance of Lucha? Rude kicks out at two though. And Kalisto. Kalisto. Salida del Sol. One. Two. Kalisto gets the first fall. Oh, nice Hurricane Runner coming in from Kalisto. Pushed away by Rude, and that could lead. Oh, went in, went in for the Lariat, not the Spear. Kind of smart. Oh, but Kalisto stops it. Off the ropes, and oh, there's the Power Slam. Rude wipes his hands. One. Oh, what? Kalisto kicking out, and not even two. There's an elbow drop coming in from Rude. And another elbow drop. And be dropping his elbows. And now he's taunting to the crowd. He is a full down in this match. But all oh, the double axe handle. Spine buster from Bobby Roode. One. Two. And Kalisto just gets the shoulder up. 
Yo, Rude better make sure that he doesn't lose focus and doesn't lose determination here. Or else this could very well be over. Glorious DDT! Kalisto fell like a sack of potatoes. And Bobby Rude picks up his first fall. It is now final fall time. Oh, but Kalisto might be looking to try and finish this match. Oh, but Rude stops him. Oh, gut kick into a chop. And now Pendulum Backbreaker. That's kind of smart. But the Spine Buster and, and the Rude Bomb. Oh, he drops the knee. Rude being very smart with the with the moves that he's using right here. Oh, but Kalisto stops it. Oh, Kalisto. Oh, Cross Arm Breaker. Oh, but Rude fighting his way out. The strike's coming in. Oh, is that a super kick from Kalisto? Oh, oh, went for the spear but got caught with the DDT. Oh, like he was going for the Listo kick there. But now Bobby Roode thinking butterfly suplex. One, two. Oh, but a kick out from Kalisto. What is it going to take for either man to put the other away? There's an elbow drop from Roode. Lifts him up. Oh, there's the chop. Oh! Spinning hill kick from Kalisto. Into the cover. Oh, but a power out of not even one. Kalisto, what's he looking? Oh, thing in Salida del Sol. Oh, but he's caught by Rude into a power slam. My god. Spine Buster! One, two. And Kalisto's still kicking out. Oh, there's the chop. There's a gut kick. And now, Bobby Roode. Glorious DDT! One, two. Bobby Roode wins. Bobby Roode gets it done. Two out of three falls. Can we just take a second to appreciate the fact that Bobby Roode just reversed a Salida del Sol into a power slam? Now, I might be wrong, but I believe that is the first time I have ever seen that. Um, especially in universe mode, because not many people fought Kali, so I believe Bobby Roode is the only man. Bobby, Rude, Greg Hamilton, oh, oh no, oh no, Rude's not done, off the ropes with the spear, Bobby Rude sending a message to Kalisto, and whoever's going to win that United States Championship match later on tonight, between Alistair Black and Drew McIntyre, although I believe that's on part two, that'll be tomorrow, Bobby Rude has, oh, Let's go of the chair. And he's thinking, what can he do to Kalisto? Oh. Oh! Spine buster with his head connecting with the chair. Oh, Lord. Um, I think we should just move on to the next match. Oh, the glorious DDT. Oh, God. Alright, it is Intercontinental Championship time. It's coming in first is the challenger, Shinsuke Nakamura. Now, I'm actually recording this after I saw some comments on, uh, on SmackDown. And I'm just going to say this. Jinku, Jinku. Yes, I know. It is a white attire. Go wild, my guy. Go wild. 
But anyway, Shinsuke Nakamura has one hell of a match coming up. This could be make or break for him. I believe, apart from Tommaso Ciampa and Randy Orton, Nakamura is the first man to compete for two titles in universe mode. This is, this is big. comes the Intercontinental Champion, Matt Riddle. And you know what, Riddle? Yeah, he's been a dominant champion. Um, he's beaten Lashley a few times, he's beaten Roderick Strong. You know, Riddle, Riddle always makes himself really really known backstage and he's always said the same thing almost daily he wants to be the intercontinental champion and he wants to hold it all the way up to wrestlemania and then he wants his opponent to be uh to be, to be someone that i feel like a lot of people might know who it is so uh if you're in the chat Make your predictions. Who do you think, if Matt Riddle makes it all the way to WrestleMania, how, you know, who do you think will be Matt Riddle's opponent if he gets to WrestleMania as Intercontinental Champion? But anyway, Shinsuke Nakamura, he's prepared. So is the Intercontinental Champion. So we'll see who wins here tonight. Will it be Nakamura? Or will it be Matt Riddle? Alright, and we're going to start things off with a little bit of chain wrestling. Nakamura already getting the early advantage. We're going to see uh, the King of Strong Style take on the King of Bros. So this should be pretty good match as already they these two are proving they're even stevens in a way look at this oh now taking him down into an armbar this is where riddle could get deadly if he can get those technical holds in nakamura might not have a chance oh inverted ddt by matt riddle oh bringing the kicks bringing the fight oh nice back fist and now, oh! Oh, but not even a one count. It's going to take a lot more to take Nakamura down. It's Riddle trying to just work on Nakamura here, trying to wear him down in the early stages of this match. Very, very smart thing to do if you're Matt Riddle. And, oh, he hits it again. Good God. The oh, off the ropes and Riddle with the German. I think his head might have whacked on those ropes as well. Good God Almighty. The Riddle's fired up and there's a spear to the outside. We've seen in the past Riddle is uh, not afraid to go to the outside. Oh, Nakamura bringing him back in. That's smart. Nakamura knows he can't win this match. He cannot become Intercontinental Champion on the outside. So he is stopping Riddle from being able to utilize the outside. And there's the striking game coming in from Shinsuke Nakamura. Oh, the kick to the back. Oh, there's a chop. And now, oh, there's the knee. And... Oh, there's the axe kick. Nakamura is fired up right now. I don't blame him. It's now Nakamura. Face plant suplex. Oh, there's a knee. 
Knee coming in from Nakamura, one. Oh, but Riddle just shrugs it off a one. Nakamura's fired up Riddle in a spot trouble here. And, oh, there's the knee. Riddle is in serious trouble right now. Nakamura can just get something big off, maybe a Kinshasa. Then it could very well be over, but Riddle! Riddle trying to get something going for himself. Oh, but he's caught. Nice dragon screw coming in from Shinsuke Nakamura. Oh, in the corner. Oh, there's a chop. Oh, there's a knee. And now... There it is! And I believe... Um, Luke told me... Uh, good old... Uh, you know, the good boy, Luke the Skeleton Boy, you know. Absolute lad. Told me that is an inverted power slam. And I can see it. I can, I can, I, I definitely see it. Oh, Nakamura taunting. And now, oh, Nakamura! Kinshasa! Good night, Riddle. New Intercontinental. Riddle kicks out. To be fair, I shouldn't have expected. Uh, shouldn't have expected Riddle to uh, to lose to one Kinshasa. But it, oh, wait, Riddle just used a knee strike similar to how Nakamura would do a knee strike. That is that's terrifying. Matt Riddle, knee to the back. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Riddle mocking Nakamura? No way. Oh my god, the Kinshasa from Riddle. One, two. Nakamura kicks out. Oh my god. Riddle, Riddle just went ham and he just, he just, Riddle's incensed. Two gut wrenches. And then before that, he hit the Kinshasa. Nakamura's own finishing maneuver on Nakamura. Oh, there's the knee lift, the final flash. He never actually uses it as the finishing maneuver. Riddle off the top rope. One, two. Oh, but Nakamura kicks out. Oh, um, you too good there? <laughs> oh, and now Riddle thinking. Deadlift German. One, two. But Nakamura kicks out at two. It's now simply a case of what can put away the, you know, what's going to put away, you know, your opponent at this, at this stage. Riddle bringing in the striking game. And now Riddle stopping Nakamura from going to the outside. Oh, but now Nakamura catches him. Oh, there's a chop. Oh, but taken down by Riddle. with a guillotine. Oh. Nakamura able to duck and now Nakamura trying to bring the fight to Riddle. Riddle pushes him away though. Oh, and now bringing the strikes to Nakamura. Punch to the face. Kick to the gut from Nakamura. He's got to fight his way out of this corner. Bringing the strikes to Riddle and this is what we wanted to see. We wanted to see the strike off between Matt Riddle and Shinsuke Nakamura. Oh, when, oh! Faking Riddle out. Oh. Could be looking for Kinshasa. Oh. Oh my god, he just, he just faked out Riddle. Oh, but now Riddle trying to fake him out himself. Oh, but knee to the gut from Nakamura. Chop coming in. Chops and just shots are flying. 
Nakamura. Knee to the back and Riddle is down. Riddle is down. Nakamura could be looking for the end. Oh, went for the Kinshasa, gets caught. And now Riddle with the Pele. Riddle went for the Pele kick and now he's calling Nakamura up. Nakamura caught. Hits the Brodrick. One, two. Oh my god. God, Nakamura kicks out. And this is a moment where Riddle goes to the corner. He's thinking, what can he do? Oh, there's a final flash. Oh, but Nakamura gets straight back up. But he's now caught by Matt Riddle with the disaster kick. One, two, oh, but a kick out from Nakamura, oh. Nakamura just went Undertaker, oh, but the strike from Matt Riddle. And this is what I mean by this striking game. But, oh, roll up, one, two. Not enough. Oh, there's the chop coming in. Oh, cross arm breaker coming in from Matt Riddle. Looking to wear down Nakamura in the late stage of this match. Oh, but Nakamura powers his way out. Now Shinsuke bringing the strikes. Oh, the super kick from Matt Riddle. Lifts him up. Oh, Riddle went for that high kick, but oh! Nakamura might have just knocked him clean out. Riddle might be out cold with that forearm kick to the back Nak we could be Mom oh Riddle back up to his senses oh there's a knee strike oh but now Nakamura trying to fight his way to the oh into the Intercontinental Championship lifts him up one more time Oh, there's the stomp to the gut. Oh, trying to crack the ribs of Nakam of Riddle. Sorry, not Nakamura. But Nakamura looks uh, kind of tired. Both men do. Pele from Riddle again. Nakamura gingerly getting up onto his feet, and now Brodrick. One, two, Riddle wins. Damn. That was a great match, though. Mad respect to both Riddle and Nakamura for putting on one hell of a show in the middle of the card. You know, for part one. So we're going to move on to some more tag team action. Still the Intercontinental Champion. Alright, Raw tag title action. My throat's a little weird today, so you're going to have to bear with me. But anyway, in comes Akum and Razor, the Authors of Pain. Now, one thing about the Authors of Pain, you know, they're former tag champs. They did not do anything to earn this match. They did nothing. <laughs> Literally, all Seth Rollins said was the AOP want their rematch, and Lita, not Lita, Trish Stratus made it official. I'm, I'm not sure really where the decision sort of goes with that. <laughs> and I wish I knew, but I don't. I sadly just don't know. <laughs> but anyway, AOP are in the ring. 
their opponents. The current Raw Tag Team Champions. And introducing the champions at a combined weight of 492 pounds. Oh. Oh boy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It <laughs> looks like we're not gonna wait for the bell. <laughs> looks like we're gonna get a little bit of a brawl here. As uh, looks like Ray Zara is dealing with Cesaro and Akum. Oh, Akum getting the rough of Cesaro as well. And in the ring they go. And this match has started. Razor and Cesaro to start as Razor laying in the boots to Cesaro. It's now Razor using that strength. And that is where the AOP really sort of comes into their own, the strength game. But Cesaro kicks out and not even one. Cassius Ono is having troubles on the uh, on the ring apron. I thought that was fixed, but apparently 2K just cannot be fixing. Um, their stuff. So, yeah, that's all oh, the boot coming in from Ono. As long as Cesaro is okay on the ropes, and that's fine. Oh, we went for that knockout elbow or that knockout forearm, I guess. Oh, oh, Akum just planting Cassius Ono down. And oh, the boot from Cassius Ono. I just realized he still has the sunglasses on. Oh, there's the knockout elbow. Now, oh, Akum with the STO. And now, oh, the back body drop. And Akum in control, it seems. In the corner. Oh, all the spears into the gut. Oh, and a shot to the back. Tag made into Razor and this could be where the AOP really sort of uh oh this could be where the AOP really sort of you know get their own in this match you know because whilst whilst the kings of wrestling are very very technical AOP are just are, they're just brute strength oh but Cassius Ono stops Razor from doing whatever he wanted to do and now Razor on the apron. Oh, and Cesaro takes him down. Um, I have no idea. Oh, oh, oh no, takes a, a nasty fall there. But Cesaro stops Razor from being able to follow up, giving Cassius Ono enough time to get back up to the top rope. Are you nuts, dude? Oh! Cassius Ono with the roll up. We saw him do that to Seth Rollins on his first night on Raw. What did he do? He pinned Seth Rollins, man. Oh, there's a nice knee coming in from Cassius Ono. And now into the corner. Oh, tag being made, and here comes. The tag offense of oh, the Kings of Wrestling. Nice double kip up. God damn. Tag being made into Akum now. And it is Cesaro and Akum in the ring. Oh, nice shot there from Akum. Oh, but Cesaro able to duck some kicks to the thigh. Trying to weaken the AOP. Very, very smart strategy. And now Cesaro with the strength. Cesaro. Everyone says it, and I have to agree. The strongest man on the roster. Oh, and there's Akum with a nice Uranagi there. Did he go for a spinning elbow? Did he learn that from good old Cassius Ono? Oh, snap that coming in from Akum. Oh, kick to the back, but Cesaro not happy. Very European uppercut, my god. Oh, taking out Razor. And now Akum. Akum might be locked into that sharpshooter. Oh, so close to the ropes as well. 
Beckham looks like he's struggling. Razor getting back onto the apron as Aiken fighting his way out. Pushes Cesaro off. And now the strikes coming in from Cesaro. Nice European uppercut. He is known for those. And now in comes Razor. Oh, just throws Cesaro. Kick to the ribs. And now old Cesaro able to counter. Old strikes coming in. Oh, Cesaro with the taunt. Off the rope. Oh, the drop kick. Oh, ref, they're going to bump. Referee bump. But now what? What are the Kings of Wrestling doing here? All oh, the boot from Ono and... Oh! Okay. Okay. I, I'm, I'm seeing this tag offense and I'm like, I, I'm down for it. Oh, nice boot coming in from Ono. But now, Razor back up to his feet, but he eats a bunch of strikes from Cassius Ono. The striking game is in. And an alley -oop bomb coming in from Cassius Ono. It's now Ono waits for Razor and oh! Might have just clean knocked him out there. Kings of Wrestling might retain here. Oh, but Razor kicks out. I, I genuinely thought he was out. I genuinely thought the Razor was... Ooh! And this is what I mean by the AOP have the uh, clear strength advantage. Oh, but all oh, the nice neck breaker coming in from Cassius Ono. But the strength advantage is on the side of the AOP. Not just physical strength, but also in a way technical strength, because they've been a tag team for longer. Look at that Cesaro trying to stop Razor from uh, from getting to the corner, but Cassius Ono stops it nonetheless. Into the corner. Aikum took it off the apron. Oh, and Cassius Ono took too long. Oh! Is that, like, into the, into the ropes there? Oh, roll up, roll up, one, two. Oh, kick out from Razor. And oh, the boo. Cassius Ono now has him in the corner. Tag being made. Now, what are these two looking to do here? Oh, nice double hip toss. This is what I mean by the strength game is on the side of the AOP. But, you know, when Cesaro and Ono are together, you know, they do some big things. Oh, the ref. The ref telling. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cesaro just went in. I was going to say, you know, o Ono, um. Oh. Oh, Razor saw it coming. Has him in the corner. I was going to say, you know, Akum cheekily hit Cesaro on the apron and Ono went to make the save, but the ref stopped him. Is the referee turned heel? Oh, he went for that lariat. Razor went for it, but oh! Went for the knockout elbow. Look at this, these two reversing each other. But oh, center of the ring. This could very well be it. The sharpshooter being applied. This could very well be over for the AOP, but Aikum makes the save. Oh, they can make it even more of a save. The ref telling Cassius he can, he still can't get in the ring. So Cassius Ono decides to uh, warm himself up by jumping off the apron every five seconds. Now Cesaro just saw the talking to Aiken, but oh, Aiken saw it coming. That's what you, that's what happens when you taunt before you do that, dude. But anyway, Cesaro working on Razor again. Oh, Cassius Ono takes Aiken off the apron, but oh, says, but Razor kicks out. Oh, what? Europe.
European and uppercut coming in from Cesaro. We've seen a few of those in this match. Oh! There it is, that knockout. Forearm and Aikum taken off the apron. Oh, into the cover. One, two. Oh, but a kick out from Rezar. This is smart, though. Dissecting Rezar. He might be the bigger guy, but... If you dissect and you leave one guy in the ring, it's a lot easier to defeat them as now Cesaro with the European uppercut. Razor just taken off of his feet into the corner. Now old tag being made. It looks like it might be time. Oh! Oh my god, Cesaro swinging Razor and oh! Drop kick coming in from Ono. Who takes Akum off the apron. And this leaves Razor in a very, very bad situation. Knockout elbow. Or oh, the forearm. One, two. Kings of Wrestling retain. The Kings of Wrestling get it done. And what was a fairly good match, but the AOP were just outmatched. And it feels like these two losses, like their, their loss at SummerSlam, really was a knock to them. And since then, it just feels like the Kings of Wrestling have their number, but that means that the Kings of Wrestling are likely to go into Survivor Series next month. Um, so we're going to move on to the main event of part one, which is the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. It is the Women's Money in the Bank match. And this is one of the most highly anticipated matches, I believe. And if you are watching the premiere, you guys should know who's in this match. Make your predictions. Who is walking away as Miss Money in the Bank? So anyway, in comes Sasha Banks. Has called the SmackDown division her division. So we'll see if she truly can make SmackDown her division. And don't forget, we have not yet had either women's um, championship match yet. So there could be a very possible chance that someone cashes in tonight. But anyway, in comes Bianca Belair. And we saw her make one hell of an impact. I believe it was a couple weeks ago on Raw. When she attacked Rhea Ripley. Not, not in like a, a like, you know, a, a, a heelish way to sort of, you know, break the fourth wall and kill the business. But like, more as a Bianca Belair was sending a statement of... You know, Rhea Ripley might be the favorite going in alongside one other person, but, you know, this is the most unpredictable pay-per-view of the year, being Money in the Bank. You never know who's walking out with that briefcase. As in comes Bailey, And I was able to talk to, uh, to Lita about why she even um, just gave Bailey the spot. I swear to God, this shot better not get me um, claimed. I swear to God. <laughs> Dude, if that gets me claimed, I'm done. <laughs> I'm not, I have not got time to be editing things um, this early, um, this late into uh, the Money in the Bank um, production. But anyway, and, and Lita said, it's simply because Bailey is untapped talent in a way. But someone who we know who truly is a talent. It is the submission magician, 
and the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. Shayna Baszler on a on a bit of a tear of the women's division. She ended up destroying Peyton Royce. Peyton Royce got some offense off, but it just wasn't enough. She then won the triple threat on SmackDown um, last week, and since then, it really does feel like the momentum is on the side of Shayna Baszler. Well, I guess we'll just have to see. Because there's a very, very big difference between making your opponents tap out and climbing a ladder and retrieving the briefcase. Now, that that's, that's the kicker. But now in comes Dakota Kai. She had a great match against Kairi Sane. Um, you know, if you haven't watched it, go back and watch it. It was a really good match for both uh, both women involved, actually. Because you know we haven't seen a lot of Kyrie Sane, um, so it was nice to see her, you know, back in action and just sort of uh, you know, do doing doing what she's doing. But Dakota Kai would love to be Miss Money in the Bank. All of them would, but. You know, we'll just see what goes down. But now in comes the final entrant. Rhea Ripley. And if you want someone who can rival the dominance that Shayna Baszler has had on SmackDown, I'd argue that it's Rhea Ripley on Raw. And you know, I know Survivor Series is still a month away, and anything could happen, but I would love to see Shayna Baszler versus Rhea Ripley at Survivor Series. But anyway, let's go. Let's go! Oh! Already Rhea Ripley going straight after Shayna Baszler. Bailey going after Sasha Banks and Dakota Kai going after Bianca Belair. Already Rhea Ripley uh, making her intentions known. What the hell is she going to do here? Oh! Meanwhile, Sasha Banks trying to outclass Bailey, but Bailey with the slam as uh, Rhea Ripley. Not really sure what to do here. Okay, she's got the ladder again, and oh, she uses on Shayna Baszler. Meanwhile, um, Bianca Belair and uh, Dakota Kai, they were scrapping. Um, oh, now Rhea Ripley going right after Dakota Kai. Not Dakota Kai, Bianca Belair. Oh, God. I'm botching on commentary. You're going to have to bear with me. It's like 7 o'clock in the morning, and yeah. <laughs> oh, Dakota Kai stopped by Bianca Belair. Nice suplex coming in from Shayna Baszler and a nice jawbreaker. And Sasha Banks. Now Dakota Kai working on Sasha Banks. Rhea Ripley working on Shayna Baszler and Bianca Belair being the smartest one. Oh god, Shayna just dropped on that ladder. Now Rhea Ripley using the ladder, now placing the ladder. And now Sasha Banks and Rhea Ripley are going to square off. Nice net breaker. Dakota Kai going to try and grab for the briefcase. Dakota Kai making the first climb. But oh, Bailey. Oh! Bailey pushed off by Belair. And um, Sa Sasha is just up a ladder ringside. Um, uh oh. Uh, Dakota Kai is still climbing. She, she's still trying to unhook that briefcase, and if no one comes after her, she might win. Oh, but Bianca Bella pushes the ladder and then power bombs. Oh, uh oh.
Sasha Banks is on that is on that ladder. Ooh. Oh, the GTS coming in from Rhea Ripley. Wait, what? Oh, no. Dakota Kai on that ladder. It's get Oh, God, an inverted Frankensteiner from Bailey. But now Rhea Ripley. What's she looking to do here? Dakota Kai rolling off that ladder. German suplex from Shayna Baszler. And now Dakota Kai working on Shayna Baszler. And Bianca Belair looking to potentially do the same. The stalling suplex from Rhea Ripley. So now Bianca Belair seems to uh, be in the sights of Rhea Ripley. And oh. Oh! My God. It's now... Rhea with the ladder, oh, but Bailey, back suplex. And Shayna now working on Sasha. There's a gut wrench. Shayna rolls through, and we've seen this multiple times before. Another gut wrench. Bailey trying to climb. Shayna pushes Bailey off. And Rhea just staring. Shayna Baszler, but Bianca Belair is not happy. Oh! Hip toss onto the ladder. And now Shayna Baszler, Sasha Banks, and Bianca Belair in the ring. Dakota Kai trying to get her bearings in this match. Strangely, Dakota Kai has been the only woman to actually have gone and climbed um, and actually tried to unhook the briefcase so far. And, you know, Dakota's not doing too bad at, you know, like crowd control. <laughs> she, she's, she's trying to keep the people in the ring a minimum. But the numbers are starting to fill up again. It's Rhea Ripley going in with that ladder. Rhea's climbing. Rhea Ripley taking the climb. Oh, it's Bailey. Bailey gonna try and throw Rhea Ripley off, it seems. Oh, but Rhea Ripley slamming Bailey's head into the ladder a, a few times. Throwing Bailey off the ladder. Now everyone's preoccupied. Shayna's there though. Shayna is there. Shayna going for it. And Rhea Ripley unhooks it. Wait, what? Everyone just staring. There was too much fighting going on. And Rhea Ripley capitalized. And Rhea Ripley has missed money in the bank. What? I've been Byron I This has been Money in the Bank Part 1. Join us tomorrow for Part 2. And I'll see you all next time.